Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Starfield. My name is Camel. In this video today I will be showing you how to get a unique cutter called Hella's Cutter. It's very easy to get and you could very easily miss it by simply just walking past it. So I'm going to show you where it is so you don't do that. Now stat wise Hella's Cutter is nothing special but it does have a unique orange appearance opposed to the red appearance of the normal cutter which makes it a must have for all collectors. Now, if this kind of stuff interests you, my other Starfield videos can be found down in the description via the playlist link down there. You can also find all of my social media links. Be sure to help me out and check them out after the video. But without further hesitation, let's go and grab a mining tool that would make the Royal House Orange proud. So as you probably know, we start the game on the moon Vectera, where we will spend some time with two other miners, namely Lynn and Hella. Well, once we get out of the mine and to the surface, we can see that there is actually a second habitation module, but the door is currently closed and the switch to open said door is busted. If we interact with the switch, we'll get an electrical shock and take a little bit of damage. Now, as far as I'm aware, there is no way to repair this, but that's no issue as one or two main quests later, Sarah Morgan will ask us to go and find Barrett, as she hasn't heard from him for a while. Now, given the last time we saw Barrett was when he switched places with us at the Argos Extractors mining operation on Vectera. Well, naturally, that's where we head back to. Now, if you can't remember where Vectera is, it's here in the Narian system. Once we arrive, Barrett won't be anywhere in sight, but we won't go into quest details because it's pretty much irrelevant in regards to this item. But what is important is when we arrive, to the left is the mining operation, to the right is the habitation module. If we walk over to the switch, well, it's been repaired, it's fixed. So naturally click the switch and it will open up the door and we can head on inside. Once we get through the two airlocks, turn to the right, open this door up and right in front of us in that little gray box is Hella's cutter and it's as simple as that all you need to do is click it and it will add it to your inventory and now hella's cutter is all yours now before we run through the stats i did pick it up and then go back to hella and there was no option to give it back to him and he didn't comment on it at all when i had it out in front of him so as far as i'm aware there's no extra little side quest to it in regards to returning it to hella now appearance wise as i said it is orange when compared to the regular cutter which is red now this appearance is actually unique and not only is it orange, but it does have a few other details on it. The main one is that Hella's Cutter is notably more worn than the regular Cutter. Much more of the orange paint has been worn off, revealing the metal underneath. And the only other difference I've been able to notice is around the gray rim on the front of the Cutter, it has white caution stripes, which the regular Cutter does not have. There might be some other details, but I did look this thing up and down for about 30 minutes, and they were the only differences between the two that I could spot. Now if you do have the pre-order Old Mars skin pack, there is an Old Mars skin for the cutter. However, if you go to Hella's cutter, you cannot apply the skin. The skin thing is locked. I have had a look around and I have noticed that any item that has a unique appearance in game will always have the skin mod slot locked. So you can't screw with the unique appearance of a unique item that has a unique appearance. Now, when it comes to stats, in terms of the important stats, Hella's Cutter is exactly the same as the normal Cutter. It does four damage, fire rate of 76, a range of three, an accuracy of 76.7, a mass of four. There's zero out of zero mods because you can't put mods on a Cutter unless it's the skin thing. And the value of Hella's Cutter is a bit more, but that doesn't really matter because you don't want to sell Hella's Cutter. It's unique. It's got a unique skin. But of course, it is a rare item, so it does have the extra bonus effect of disassembly assembler which gives plus 20 percent damage against robots now that is good it's better than not having that bonus but are you ever going to use hella's cutter specifically for fighting robots probably not if you did want to take on a gang of robots i would hope that you would take a weapon that has a higher base damage than four so even with the 20 percent extra damage to robots you're going to be doing what 5.25 damage whoa step back robot killer yeah you're pretty much just going to be using hella's cutter as if it was a normal cutter for mining stuff now if you just have hella's cutter in your inventory and not a regular cutter when you go to mine something with a scanner up it will automatically pull out hella's cutter it acts just the same as a normal cutter does and now that i've said cutter so many times i'm just thinking of the elder scrolls 4 oblivion shivering isles dlc character called 
Cutto. But you can learn about her in the Shivering Isles Easter egg video, which you can click above if you want. And a pro tip for all of you Cutter fans out there, if you hold down the left trigger, this will charge up the Cutter, including Hella's Cutter, so that when you hit the right trigger to do an attack, it mines things like 10 times faster. And if you're on mouse and keyboard, hold down the right button on the mouse, and then when you go to attack with the left button on the mouse, it'll do the same thing, it'll charge it up. So now you know how to get Hella's Cutter, a Cutter with a unique orange appearance which I personally always carry around with me because, well, I probably think the red one is cooler. The fact that Hell's Cutter is unique and it's the only one in the game with that appearance, well, you know, obviously you've got to use that one. I hope you found this helpful and I'd love to know what other secrets and advice you have for myself or other players. Starfield is colossal, but it's also filled with a million tiny details and hidden things. And I'd love to hear about what you find or figure out. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe. Check out my other Starfield videos via the playlist down in the description. Down there, you could also find all of my social media links. Be sure to check all of them out in a second. I've been Camel. I would like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.